Okay, so I ended up blowing off a little bit of steam, and uh, I, off camera, I grinded back to level 59, and this time I used the Lumina magic and got it up to a higher level. So that allowed me to beat um, whatever the guy is before the, the Mana Beast, Thanatos, a lot easier, so I only used one Fairy Walnut. So I have three Fairy Walnuts in the tank. I think that should be enough to beat the mana beast. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it now. I looked up the health. It's got 9,990 HP. My attack damage is about 130. I have to hit him about 80 times. Um, it's gonna take a long time. I I'm hoping for some crits. Yeah. But anyway, I do think it's possible. Let's go. Take up the sword. We'll cast our mana magic on it. Then the true mana sword will appear. I have to be very careful. What does it cost? That's the MP that I have. But what MP does uses one MP? Does it really? It only uses one MP. Okay. <laughs> so you have to wait for him to bomb you like this. You're stuck on this little location, right? So you can't dodge. You have to wait for him to bomb you. Why does that happen? You know what, I think he casts that on one side or the other. I think you actually can dodge this. No, he's... give you a syrup Oh he st he got stunned
might not survive if I don't heal everybody. This game is so jank. on crit. This is a trash boss fight, man. Trash boss fight. More crits than that. I need to be getting this off quicker. Myself could use a can. <laughs> so at the end of the game, Prim ends up being the most valuable asset to the team. Far and away. Without her. Without her, we could not have made it this far. Come 
Come on, crit. This is like watching grass Ooh. He always does it to him. Slap ya, just slaps ya, like a biznitch. You know, I'm not gonna pop that, actually. Look at that. They're trying to go after him. It's not, it's not possible. Plop. Dang it. Ooh, critted him though. Oh, those crits are nice. Hit him again, nope. What's causing that? That wasn't a good cycle. Okay, you are in trouble. Bad cycle. Oh, I don't do that. There we go. That's what we need. 
ว่าOn crit. Uh, you're a little bit too injured. You have a piece of chocolate. How many of these we got left? Thanks. Probably a good idea that I did. That I got back on to here, back to this point off stream because just this is taking forever. gone who's they am i supposed to know what's going on here we couldn't even say goodbye not them too i i'll never forget you ever me neither oh they're talking about or dialogue. Well, everybody, we everybody's strong, gone. Like they were. <laughs> we have to survive. Poi Poi is gone, dialogue has gone, and the mana tree is gone. The mana beast is turning into... snow. Oh no, is Santa going to make an appearance? This, was this the uh, events leading up to Legend of Mana? <laughs> Probably was, that would make sense because the, the mana tree isn't there. At the beginning of Legend of Mana. Telling Chrissy and Gemma. About our hijinks.
So overall, uh, my general opinion of this game is uh, I don't love it. It's okay, like uh, by Super Nintendo's standards. Um, it's an okay game. Not something that I would ever play through twice. It's maybe like... It maybe makes top 10 SNES games, but only just barely. If you never played it before, you're not really missing out on a lot. There's much better RPGs, even for that, that system. Chrono Trigger is way better. Uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past is way better. Final Fantasy VI is probably better. I've never played it before though. That might be a good thing to play next. just doesn't really hold up. The gameplay doesn't hold up much to today's standards. Mind you, I just got done playing like a... Uh, I played through Sekiro. I played through Elden Ring. And Neo 2. Before I played this. Those are the last three games I completed. Way more polish. Way more fast pace. The magic mechanics were certainly better. Sekiro doesn't really have magic, but... Elden Ring. Like the way they mix the magic in seamlessly with the rest of the combat, it's a lot better. <coughs> magic is just an annoyance in this game. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the end there. I'll have to rewatch the VOD. Did he go back to Poi Poi, or whatever, no, not Poi Poi, uh, Popo Village, or wherever he came from. They finally let him back in. His adopted father finally accepted him, only because he saved the world. Otherwise, he was just tossed out like garbage. That was another thing too, the story, it was senseless. Legend of Mana uh, didn't do magic much better than this, in fact, I don't think I ever really used magic in Legend of Mana. But Legend of Mana, in my opinion, is a better game. It's definitely an improvement. Still a lot of cryptic crap in that game. Pretty tough to finish it blind. I think I did finish Le the Legend of Mana blind. This one wasn't blind. There was a a little bit of backseating, but I didn't have much control there. I guess when you stream something, you gotta like, if you really want no backseating, you really gotta make it clear in your um, stream details. It wasn't a big deal, though. 
they were pretty minor hints. What, what was the first one? Oh, the first one was telling me to get the mallet. That I didn't really need. I guess it was just that in the Mana Beast fight. I don't know if I don't know if I would have figured that out. I didn't have a chance to try to figure it out. Anyway, not really a big deal. Oh, still only 27 minutes on this VOD. I'll go ahead and read. I gave a not recommend on Steam for this. <coughs> Which is maybe a little trollish for me. Of me. I'll go ahead and read it. Uh, unless you have nostalgia for this game, I would advise you to avoid it. The quality of gameplay may have been acceptable in the early 90s, but these days it just seems lazy. Enemies are poorly balanced with weird difficulty spikes peppered throughout the game. Oh, hold on. Credits are ending. Oh, maybe not. Song's just restarting. Okay. <coughs> Most players will not figure them out. Or, sorry. Uh, peppered throughout the game. Main bosses seem trivial. While there are common enemies that can kill you in one or two hits. Combat is slower than cold molasses. Magic casting freezes everything on screen. The stamina system just slows things down even further. Cryptic puzzles are peppered throughout the game. Most players will not figure them out without guides. Looking up guides for games is not is fun for some people. It's not fun for me, especially when the game seems like it's made for 10-year-olds. The plot is corny and stupid. The characters are completely flat. Santa Claus even makes an appearance in this game pretty cheesy. The ending to the game is the most unforgivable. Several bosses back-to-back -back with no save points. All of them are virtually imperv impervious to physical damage. You need mana even though it's a limited resource. Want to know how many mana items you can carry? Four, that's it. All of that ends with a final boss, who has a ridiculous amount of HP and can't be damaged without using some weird cryptic spell combination that is never explained. Yeah, the fact that I would have had to uh, cast that spell with both of the side characters, I'd have never figured that out. All in all, the game just isn't fun for me. It felt like a chore to get through. It's not even very good as a remake, as far as I can tell. Jankiness of the original was all left in. They updated the graphics from 1992 to 1998, so the game still looks incredibly dated. The mouths don't even move when the characters speak. It would have been so hard to do this in Unity or something. The soundtrack is nice, but the game is crap. That's my review. Sorry, didn't really like it. Maybe when I have some time away from it and I look back on hindsight, I'll be like, well... But I doubt it. I doubt I'll be revisiting this title. Something's happening. Is he going to put the sword back? Oh, he did. He put it back. He's carrying on the legacy. <coughs> oh, is the Sprite Village going to be repopulated? No, nope, they're ghosts.
<coughs> the game lags too, like it's lagging right now. <coughs> There's performance problems. I've heard that has to do with some sort of Windows update that it wasn't compatible with. Yeah, the frames drop. And look at this game. I have games that can run at 60 FPS in 4K online. <laughs> and that'll do it. Thanks for tuning in.